good morning everyone here today we will find out how the pmd will work in our local system for apex language and good morning everyone today we will find out here how the pmd will work for in our local machine for salesforce apex language so let's set up the pmd and before we set up the pmd we will good morning everyone today we will try good morning everyone today we will find out what is pmd how it will help in our code analyzer as a code analyzer tool and how we set up the P, apex pmd in our local machine using desktop app so let's check first we'll go through what is exactly pmd is so pmd is a static code analyzer tool that is used for automatically detecting of potential bugs and unsafe code uh, it examines apex source code and looks for potential bugs dead code complicated expressions and duplicate code pmd comes with a uh, lot of configurations and highly configurable set of rules so every developer can quickly set up in their machine so let's have a look how a pmd can be set up in our local machine using apirio dx so first of all we open apirio dx we comes in the tool section and this is a pmd tool so if it's not installed then like this install button will be visible so as of now pmd has been installed in my system and it shows a version 6.4.0 so once the pmd get installed it will install in a specific location so let's check where is it will install uh, we'll go to the user local seller and this is a folder where the pmd will get installed and this is a something from the bin folder where the all the executable commands will store here so we have to remember that in a path as well now we have installed the pmd use apario dx and we need to make sure whether the visual studio code has been installed or not so as of now you can see the visual studio code has been already installed now let's check how we will set up the things so we need to open a visual studio code i'll open the code then i will check whether the extension is already installed or not so i'll go to the last option extension option and search for apex pmd okay so it is already installed in my system you can see that one now we will set a path so for that we will use the command palette of visual studio code so for the shortcut is control shift p so the command shift p and we will open the user setting in the user setting section you can see in the last stage where the apex pmd path so we have set up the path which is already i ask you like till libx we lib executive file we have to set so that is the path we have set up now let's check whether the pmd is working or not so we will open any file so as of now class demo file is there and this file looks fine let's check if i'll make any change in the class demo like i start the class name with the small character and method name is a capital caps letter mm -hmm. a lot of if statement is there so i will add another if statement to check whether it will check complexity or not okay and here's a for loop in this insert statement so once i save the changes and 
you can see there is a lot of issues are appearing here like class name should begin with an uppercase character yes avoid sql queries inside loop deeply nested if else statement and again dml operation in the loop so now we can see like how the pmd is working it's very easy to set up through the pdo dx we don't require to set a specific path or something we just need to uh, use the pdo dx install the pmd it will set install the latest version automatically then take the path of the bin folder put it in the vs code and your code is ready to use thank you